mission, then you know that your work remains unfinished. There are many more bootleg games for you to review. You've only just begun. Not disappoint me. I will finish what I started. Talk Star Wars. I mean, does it even really need an introduction at this point? It's universally acclaimed around the world. It's widely known as one of the most successful franchises ever created. And even as recent as Star Wars Force Awakens, it's topped the highest grossing films of all time. It's a money making machine at this point. Selling anything from toys and replicas to food? That's a toaster! It's a br it burns your toast. Don't even get me started on this thing. And hey, what's this? A tape, a tape dispenser? It's, it's coming out of his dick, I can't even make this up! All I can tell you is it looks like C-3PO isn't too happy about it. But what we're here to talk about today is, of course, bootleg video games. With any successful franchise, it seems like there's always something floating around. Whether it be pirates from a foreign country selling their knockoffs for a quick buck, or even just ROM hackers replacing and creating new assets for pre-existing games. And when it comes to Star Wars, there's definitely more hacks. So, I guess there's nowhere else to start but at the beginning. Right, BB-8? We have to go all the way back to the Atari 2600, if you can believe it. There were, of course, some officially licensed Star Wars games for the system. But would you believe as late as the mid-2000s, people were still making Star Wars hacks for the console? Like, how about a hack where you play as the Millennium Falcon shooting asteroids? Wow. Such detail. This one's called Escape from Hoth, even though there really is no escape, you're just shooting asteroids. Because it's asteroids. This one is called Star Wars Galaxian. A hack of Galaxian for the 2600. I mean, hey, what'd you expect? It's not exactly science. The only two differences are that the game features TIE Fighter enemies instead of space bugs, and your ship looks more like an X-Wing. Sorta. I mean, you kinda gotta hand it to these hackers. Most of these games actually play better than some of the officially licensed Star Wars games for the Atari. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do when you gotta work with limitations like this. There's even a Space Invaders clone, but your guy looks more like a, like a cactus instead of an X-Wing. At least all the other ships look pretty good. Oh, Jesus, go faster! Okay. In this one, you're an ex flying through a trench getting shot at. Hey, stop it. Get off me. Stop it. Get, go, go away. Get off it. Stop it. Okay, thanks. I think that this is supposed to be Alderaan in the- Oh! Oh no! That's how you know it's bad. It's that tone right there. Your plan's dead. Millions of people have died and it's all your fault. The hack itself is called Battle of Alderaan. It was made from the game Star Strike back in 2001. Ah yes, 2001, the year infamously known as the return of the Atari. I mean, it's all right here in this 2001 August issue of Hipster Gamer. Well, that was great and all, but it looks like it's time to move on to the NES. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me that someone made a hack of a baseball game, but made it Star Wars? All right, I'm on board for now. All right, let's select our teams here. Well, we definitely have to pit the Rebels against the Galactic Empire. Let's take a look at our roster really quickly, though. All right, so we got one of our key players, Anakin, here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, good. Obi! Obi-Wan! Well, I mean, that's, that's pretty close to Leia, I guess. Yoda. This is Yoda. See through you. We can. Okay, okay, okay. The game is basically exactly the same as the original game with two of the teams swapped. Does this even constitute his effort at this point? I mean, where, where was all the good stuff? Th there's just gotta be something out there with some real Star Wars spirit in it. This was uh, Star Wars Battle City hack. As you can see, we must be in the right place here because it says Star Wars. Oh yeah! It's definitely Star Wars! It's definitely Star Wars because it says it right there! 
Don't you guys remember the best part of the original Star Wars where Luke Skywalker stormed the Death Star with an AK-47? What is- what- what is- what? Oh, yeah, I swear to God, Luke came up to me and he said- and he said, You know what, Hammy? I like the AK-47. I like it a lot. Because oppers are for f pussy. Scout for life! I honestly couldn't even believe that he said that. That's weird. Okay, is it reasonable of me to just ask the question, what is the point? What, what is the point of this? This one isn't even the worst case that I found. There's a couple shoot 'em up hacks out there. One of them doesn't even change the title screen. Do you think that you could wager a guess as to what this game is called? You would think that this part here a long, long time ago would have been added as a reference to Star Wars, but nope. This is actually the original title screen. That's just part of the original game subtitle. The only change that I can see is to the ship itself. Instead of flying this ship, you're in more of a flat design one. Even though I'm not exactly sure what makes this Star Wars. Oh, oh, I, I guess it's the Millennium Falcon. Are these Star Destroyers then? No, because they're in the original games as well. All right, this one just seems lazy. Next. Oh, are we gonna go back? Are we going back to the other one? Yeah, let's go back. Well, it looks like another shmup with some basic sprite redesigns. Hey, at least this one has the Millennium Falcon though. That's the dream. All right, all right, I'll admit it. I've been taking it a little bit easy on you guys because you weren't ready. You weren't ready. Because out there, among the stars, I like to think that Yoda's out there. You know, watching over us. And also starring in its own collective of ROM hack video games. This one's called Yoda Bros. Let's do it. The hack is one level long. What? Oh no, I'm not even joking. There's only one stage and it's not even good. It's like, it's like playing someone's crappy Mario Maker level. Like, like he even tries to trap you. What is this? I was so taken aback by this that I thought it glitched out and I played it again. I was right the first time. Not pretty, are you? The crowning jewel of all Yoda hacks, we knew it to be true! Yoda's adventure! I mean, Yoda's even quoted saying in the Phantom Menace, Yoda's stories? No, Yoda's adventure. They cut that scene out, though. <laughs> well, that's easily one of the greatest things I've ever seen. You know what, I'm a little disappointed in myself, actually. I'm a little disappointed because I lack the talent to not have done this first. You see, the key to this hack here is, is Yoda. I mean, he's, he's a funnier character than we've had in any hack, so... If we can get him to work, that is. Yep, that's right! That's Yoda! Kane and all! This hack is basically just a reskin of Zelda 2 if you couldn't gather that. Except instead of running around as Hyrule's green-clad hero, you're just a green dude named Yoda. Well, well, I mean, I named my Broda, but you, you get my point. The adventure itself hasn't changed much. You still go around and do the same things in the same order as Zelda 2. So that means you still have to go get the candle and visit the wise men in each town. Even all the dungeons are in the same locations as well. The only main difference is in the enemies. Sometimes you'll run into Star Wars enemies instead of the Hyrule norm. Slimes are now droids, skeletons are stormtroopers, and uh, oh, 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 oh god, are those Ewoks with spears? Run, Yoda! We, we didn't know they were vicious, I swear. Maybe if he was using that cane a little better, he would have got away. My absolute favorite part of the hack has to be the fact that Yoda goes around and punches the living crap out of things. Punch you, I will. Instead of magic points, you also have force now. The commitment is real. You also get to kill R2-D2. Oh, come on, it's just a video game. There really isn't much else I can say about the game. It's Zelda 2 through and through. It's just interesting and crazy that the game exists at all. We do have one more console stop to make on our look at hacked video games, and that's for the Sega Genesis. This one is called Star Wars Jedi? I think you guys missed the mark by one letter! Did you mean Jedi? Y you know, like the thing from Star Wars that like everyone knows about? Guys, what's going on? Wait, wait. What's going on? I don't even, I don't even know what the, what's going on? Yes, yes, Star Wars, Star Wars, right? Star Wars, it's Star Wars! It's right there! It's there, it blows in the wind just like Luke. Well, is, it, is this supposed to even be Luke? I don't even know. W what is, what is even going on? It might not come as any kind of surprise to you that this isn't Star Wars. In fact, the game is actually just a complete rip of another game called Wolf Child. 
mean, I don't know why you'd pick a game where you turn into a literal werewolf as the source material for your Star Wars hack? No, no, I mean, if there was a werewolf with a lightsaber, then maybe you'd have something. The next one up is also just called Star Wars. You know, I don't even know why I bothered. Can you believe it? We still got one more game to cover. Hey, where are you going? We're not done yet. We still have one last game to cover. A Game Boy Color Star Wars bootleg. Now, as far as I know, this game was only ever sold in China. There were rumors of an English version floating around, but nobody's been able to track it down. Well, here goes nothing. Well, it's good to know that the music standards are still around. Oh! Oh god, Padme! What did they do to you? What's wrong with your face? Anakin? Uh, what? Oh no, please, no, stop, man! I don't want to do this anymore! This is the best love story ever told on screen! Okay, 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 we'll take a step back. First of all, there's an intro. Now, the intro itself, being in Chinese, had to be translated. And according to my various sources, it follows the Episode 2 plotline pretty closely. And by closely, I mean... kind of. In times of fear, when man desires wealth and fortune, he will turn to the dark side. Well, I could say that most of us are probably feeling pretty dark then. They have been plotting to assassinate Queen Amidala in order to achieve... anterior motive? W what As a Jedi warrior, Anakin Skywalker took the responsibility to escort Queen Amidala. What is waiting for them along the way? Can they uncover the conspiracy of the Dark Forces? Will the two young hearts come forth? All of this may even affect the Galactic Republic's future destiny. Wow. Wait a second, so this is episode two, right? I mean, there are stills of Padme and young Anakin. So, uh, could somebody please explain to me why there's a Death Star? You know what, never mind. I don't even know why I bother asking questions like these anymore. All right, well, it looks like we play as Anakin in this game. Who'd have thought that would have been a nice change of pace? The object of the game is to complete each stage by traversing the entirety of the level. You're also supposed to go around and collect these... Gems? Oh, and let's not forget the maps. Those are important. I remember that from the movie when Anakin had the maps. You fight the most classic of Star Wars enemies here. I mean, first you got Midget Commando Green Guy. Uh, what the heck is that? Flying B thing that shoots at you. Don't forget him. Sub-Zero with a gun. He definitely made an appearance. Oh, also the game is, uh, terrible? There's so many different things that just mess you up completely. Anakin has a weird jump arc, too. You can often land jumps that you didn't even think you could make. The game also forces you to make leaps of faith, or sometimes just puts enemies directly in your path so you have to take damage. Like, 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 what is this? How am I supposed to get past him? All right, grab another map. I don't even know what these things- Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, sure! Unavoidable flying birds! That's not the only time they use them, either. They use them a lot. Just when you think you're safe? Come on, no! Oh, hey, it looks like I'm at the first boss, actually. I don't really know who this guy is, though. I is he the Boba? Is he the Boba Fett? I don't even know how to beat this. Oh, crap! That was my last life! Uh, yes, I'd like to continue my pain and suffering, Yoda, everything that you're against. This guy isn't actually too difficult. You just have to memorize his pattern. It took me a little while to realize, but after some stages, you actually get upgrades. And it can eventually get a bigger lightsaber combo. And you can do this! Well, I mean, sure, I guess, why wouldn't you be able to do that? This jump is also an attack, and it took me until now to realize that once you attack an enemy, you can walk right through them. Speaking of attacking enemies, there's such a huge delay when you hit something before you can hit it again. Completely nullifying the existence of Anakin's combo move. And not to mention, makes you take unnecessary damage all the time. And you only got three hits! And not to mention all the instant deaths that are around. It was worth it though, because I got to face off against Anakin's true rival, Professional Boxer? Oh, and speaking of bosses, this is the last boss. Who, who is this guy even supposed to be? Is it Panaka? Is it a green Panaka? This guy's pretty tough, but I did manage to beat him. And when you do beat him, you actually get an ending to the game. With Count Dooku's death, his plan has shattered into millions of pieces. 
Boys, you're telling me that was Count Dooku? That is not Count Dooku! The Dark Scythe's strength has been extinguished and is pushed into the depths of space. Inside a now more peaceful galaxy, Anakin is able to find his true love. Wow, only now after playing that game do I understand the true meaning of love. This, this right here, that's true love. You can't deny it. We've learned so much today. What about you? You ever think you'll find love, BB-8? All right, he exploded. Oh my god, there's a fire! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This video sponsor is the Pixel Empire. A website where you can get some high quality pop culture and video game inspired posters and prints. You can even get some Star Wars Force Awakens posters and if you order some, you also get a free BB-8 poster with any Force Awakens related purchase. They also have posters from video game series like Zelda, Mass Effect, Bioshock, Final Fantasy, and more. And if you use the promo code SPACEHAMSTER, you'll also get a 15% discount at checkout. So if you're interested in getting some stuff for your place, be sure to use the code and be sure to check out Pixel Empire. Bye! It's me again. Welcome to the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, please click that like button and subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with all the going ons of my show, then follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All the links are on the screen right now and in the description down below. And if you just can't get enough of the show, I got one more video for you to click right there. It's another video about bootlegs on Zelda. The other link is actually to my Twitch page. I've been doing a lot more streaming lately, so you should go check it out. Also, a really special thanks to Elijah and Katie for helping me translate some of the Chinese. That's it for me this time, guys. Go check out my stream, go follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video.